Well, it's another day, and uh, after looking at this for a couple days, I'm going to tear this bottom part off. It just doesn't fit well with it. Uh, stick around, you'll see what I do, but I've got something good in mind here. Uh, that just, I don't know. It doesn't look level to me. I know it is. I've checked it. But I've got something better in mind that should flow with the deck a little, or the, not the deck, the railing a little better and blend in with the rest of the stuff. So that's what I want to focus on today, finishing this up and changing that. Possibly getting that piece on. And then I do still need to come all the way across. See that little ridge there? I need to cover that. Let me go slowly here, like I did there. And basically what I got in mind for this is the same thing as this where those go vertical instead of horizontal. I'll just have, I think that'll look a lot better and I may frame it. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Um, that just doesn't look right like that. And I wanna make it a little better. And then maybe, depending how I feel, we'll move on to the side over here. And uh, let me get the tools out. A little chilly today, windy. Get the tools out and get going. I am back. It has been slow going, but we're getting there. Uh, I kind of fought with that bottom rail with all the slats in it for a while, but I got it got it up there. I think that looks okay. And I pulled them boards off like I said I was, and I'm going vertical. And I like it. I like it a lot better. And that's going to be framed, trimmed out. It'll look good. Uh, this is the frame I had. You can kind of see up there how that sags. And uh, there's a big long 2x12 floor joist running through there. So it's not, uh, you know, that itself is not sagging. I think it's that sheetrock or whatever the frame they had there is what, what was doing that. But it's fine. And I'm going to cut some more of these boards. I'm going to continue to this side. And I don't know if I'll be able to get my bed out of there. I may be able to reach out with a ladder and, and hopefully get this side done. I don't know. But there's where we're at right now. Better shots here later. I'm going to stop for lunch and get back to it. It is very windy out there today, so that's usually not fun when you're cutting cedar. Get all that stuff, you know, but I, at least it's blowing it away from me. All right, I'll be back when I get a little further along, but guys, I'm taking my time with this. I want it to look good. If you're getting bored with the build, I understand, but, uh, you know, a lot of this takes, it's real slow going. I'll be back. All right, got a good stopping point. I'm going to do a little more today. Uh, went with the vertical, see if I can get in there, board and batten on the bottom there. I think that blends in a whole lot better with the railing than just the, uh, horiz the horizontal boards that were on it. And it gives it a little bit more. It's a little nicer. Let me come around here. Let me go upstairs. Try to get a closer look. Now I've got this out enough to where I, when I put this on I can come up to it. You can see there. Oh, I did that all the way down. So it's looking good. I don't know if uh, this is enough today to make a video or not. We'll see where where, where I get. Well, she even ate, ate her peas and carrots today, didn't you, Brewster? And look at the yard without the fifth wheel. Look at that. Looks different, doesn't it? Look at all that room you got, Waldo. What you crying about? They don't want to see you. No, you ain't crying. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to have to build them a uh, little shelter for the winter or summer. Just a lean-to type thing. Keep the sun off of them. Because it gets hot right there. And that fifth wheel was a good source of their shade. So we're going to have to build them something. Little, it don't have to be huge or nothing. Just something they can get behind and get out of the, 
Get out of the sun, huh, Waldo? Well, let's take a look at the mess I got out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you. This is crazy. And I've had this mess many times before. I haven't even started on the cedar sitting on this uh, picnic bench yet. I'm taking a few pieces out. There's a lot of cedar in there, but I'll, I'll probably use all of that finishing everything up. <laughs> even though the little skinny pieces. Hey, that's what I use for those little slats. Here's what the back view looks like now when most of the leaves are off the trees. Can you believe when I bought this place you would never have seen those mountains back there? I mean, they're, they're foothills, but you could not see any of them because it was so grown up back here. And it's, it's taken me years to get to this point. And this morning, I put it on a big pot of beans. Look at that. Nothing fancy. Just baby lima, or just, yeah, baby lima beans and uh, I don't remember what it was, pinto beans with ham and bacon. Oh man, look at that. Good stuff. All right, guys, happy trails. All right, guys, that's what I did today. Uh, it was very windy, so I didn't do any outside filming. I, you know, uh, there really wasn't nothing to see other than cutting 150 pieces. <laughs> so I just, you know, those are the main three segments I put on here tomorrow. I'll probably go a little longer. You know, I'm only generally getting out there by the time I get everything done in the morning run the town whatever I got to do it's 10 o'clock time I start working on things and uh, so I generally work till about three but I'm taking my time on this I'm trying to get it right I want it to look really good so there's gonna be a lot of episodes but I'll try to split them up with other things you know kind of make it interesting um, and I wanted to get on and thank everybody for all the contributions to Butt Nuggets Homestead uh, I believe they still got their, their GoFundMe uh, page going, and it's doing well. And I know they've gotten, uh, you know, quite a bit on PayPal and that. And that I appreciate that from all of you, and I'm sure they do. And, you know, that's a terrible thing that happened to them. You know, when I was watching uh, Drew's video, going through everything, and, you know, there's just not much left in a fire that's that you can salvage, if anything. Man, the vehicles just destroyed them. Uh, but hopefully, you know they're 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 going to rebuild. They'll be better. And uh, I will put the link to their GoFundMe in my description here, and y'all can help them out that way. And uh, maybe they can start a Patreon account or something. I mean, they're doing really well with subscribers. Uh, of course, I got a Patreon account. I got one patron. <laughs> But, yeah, while I'm saying on that subject, I do have a patron account. Uh, I think it's $2 a month, the lowest, and I didn't make it too high. So if y'all, if, you know, y'all want to support me in my channel, support my channel that way, I have that, in, and that's in my description as well. But I do appreciate y'all helping them. You know, everybody around here has done, done what they could, done our parts, and I'm sure, you know, I didn't go out to help that day. Uh, I'm not that kind of stuff they were doing. I wouldn't have done well at. <laughs> and I can only, I can't be out past dark because of the tail lights on that truck. They got a short in them, and I can't drive at night. I just can't. The 
last time I drove at night was about six years ago, and it was terrible. I just my vision at night is is not good. So I try not to go anywhere that I know I'm going to be running into darkness. So I don't even know where they live. I mean that's no excuse, but uh, I gave them that. Gave them some clothing. I hope the clothing can be a use to them. There's a lot of stuff in there that I, I just never wore much. There's some brand new things in there. There's a nice thick winter jacket they could wear around the farm. You know, things like that. Alright guys, I'm going to get this up for you tonight. Happy trails.